Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The page setup group that appears on the page layout tab within the ribbon allows you to make changes to the fundamental setup of your document. In addition to the button shown in this group, you can also click the Page Setup dialog box button that appears in the lower right corner of the Page Setup group to open the Page Setup dialog box. Here you can change any aspect of the document setup that you choose. This dialog box consists of three tabs, Margins, Paper, and Layout. Let's examine the aspects that you can set within this dialog box. Now on the Margins tab, you can set the margins for your document. Simply set the top, bottom, left, and right margins to the length or width that you desire by either typing the measurement units directly into the boxes provided, or by using the spinner arrows that appear at the right end of each text box. You can also set the gutter margin which is the amount of wasted space allotted for binding if you are printing a document that you wish to bind. You can also use the gutter position drop-down to select the side of the document where you want the gutter margin to appear. In the orientation section, you can select either a portrait or landscape page orientation for your document or document section. In the pages section, you can select the method for printing multiple pages from the multiple pages drop-down. On the Paper tab in the Page Setup dialog box, you select the size of the paper onto which you will be printing this document. In the Paper Source section, you can set to which tray of your printer, if you have a multi-tray printer, you will print the first page of your document, and then make a tray choice for subsequent pages. Now on the Layout tab, you can set Section Break Behavior in the Section area if desired. You can also set some of the options for headers and footers in the headers and footers section. This replicates the functionality shown in the headers and footers contextual tab. However, you can set your options here if you prefer. In the page section, you can set the vertical alignment of the page using the drop down available. This allows you to change the vertical alignment of the text on the page to the center top or bottom of the page, which you could possibly use for example, if you were creating a first page that had a centered title. You can also set line numbers and page borders here by clicking either of the two buttons at the bottom of this section and then making the settings that you desire. Now at the bottom of this dialog box on all of the tabs is the Apply To drop-down where you can choose to which part of the document you want to apply the page properties that you just set. You can apply your changes to the entire document, just the section that you're working on if you used a section break, or everything in the document from this section forward. Now once you have the settings that you want for your document, Simply click the OK button to apply them. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.